Hello antique friends and welcome to my channel for another antique related video. This is Deanna from Vintage Touch Antiques. Today I want to share with you, this is part of my what's been selling topic on one of my playlists, the things that have sold that I had featured here on my webpage under the iantiqueonline.com antique social community. That's where I have my webpage and that's where I feature many pieces that I have for sale in my antique booth and some things online. I've been doing, started last month doing a what's been selling uh, play uh, video so that you can see what has sold out of the featured pieces that I've had online and advertised. So for 2016 in April, let's see what I sold that I had on, on my page. The first item is a wonder, Vic, wonderful Victorian double deckers, what I call a collar box. And this collar box came with a gentleman's detachable collar that they wore back in that time, along with uh, three, the one that's on the collar, and two other collar buttons or studs as they're sometimes called. These collars were, were worn as you can, as you may have trouble imagining, but they just oftentimes just change their collars rather than their shirts. And this box would hold a whole stack of these collars. Now it also has a compartment here on the bottom, which makes it double decker, which was a nice little area for storage. It had blue satin trim, and this was a nice piece, and it sold for $32. The next piece, or pieces, are these children's wood hangers. These are character hangers, and the blue hanger has some more wear than the pink one, but they're still charming. They came from around the 20s or 30s, and they sold for $12.50 each. The next item is an advertising piece. It's Bixby's Shoe Polish, and uh, this bottle has the wood top with the applicator. A lot of its original label is still there. That piece sold for $9. Here's an early piece, and it just uh, didn't last long. This was uh, what could have been a salesman sample. The reason I say that is the scale was so exact. It's charming and detailed, as you would expect fact a salesman sample to be. It is a mini for sure and this piece sold for $29. This was a lovely uh, scissor style candle wick and um, wick trimmer, candle snuffer I get I, I mean and wick trimmer. Lovely Victorian style. This one sold for $25. Here was a wonderful 19th century spindle back children's chair. This one was um, had the painted decoration there on the seat. Just a great little piece sold for $35. And this was a, st a primitive stack of drawers, green. It had a stack of six drawers with little porcelain knobs there. The green, as you can see, had different shades of green, which added to its charm. And this piece was 15 inches tall, and it sold for $79. This was a really sweet piece. This was hand-painted horses, and this was done on a wood barrel top, probably. It, it was wood. It did have a little few cracks there, as you would expect for a piece of this time period. A lovely piece, sold for $16. Here's another great little piece. This is all home constructed. It's doll size dry sink. It had a little pull out drawer with a porcelain knob. Wonderful 19th century primitive. And the price on that was $95. And this piece, I uh, have a question mark there in the title uh, because I could not take it out of the sealed um, 
the sealed up section here that the the image was in. It's an it's a 19th century image of sisters, and it could have been an ambro. That's why I have the question mark. I could not get in there. Ambro would have been the image on glass. This was uh, either glass or a tintype. It came in that lovely this lovely little wire easel that it uh, set right in there, and that piece sold for twenty five dollars. This is a nice little piece that was a part of my garden and outdoor uh, display area. I uh, had the 16 hole. It's a chick feeder. People love to uh, do a lot of different things with these. It is usable. Sold for $15. And this is a nice large size pin cushion. This is straw stuff, needlepoint front with the plain back. Uh, great uh, solid stuffed uh, sewing piece that is quite usable as well as collectible. Uh, the straw stuff pin cushions just really make it easy to put your pins in and take them out and keeps them sharp. This one sold for $20. This is an 8 inch enamel wear child's plate. It did have a few little characteristic dings around the outside edge with the lovely little Dutch boy and girl motif there. That one did have Germany on the back, uh, sold for $12. Here's a wonderful little pint size atlas jar, canning jar, had the great old bubbled glass as you can see, the word mason on the front, the zinc lid was a dome zinc lid, and um, that piece sold for ten dollars. Here's a piece that sold online. It um, is a glue pot, cast iron, had the glue, uh, the cast iron insert that sets down inside. It did have the um, the name Marietta, Pennsylvania on the other side of that that you can't see in this photo. And that piece sold for $30. This is an unusual piece. Looks to me like it probably was never used. It's a gray granite skillet. I don't often find the skillets. This one had the wood handle and it was an eight and a half inch skillet sold for $13. Okay, well, that wasn't the, the item, so let's just, yeah, here we go. I apologize for that. Like I said, I was having some issues earlier, and so I was just really crossing my fingers that I wasn't going to have them, but I did. Anyway, this is the next piece. This is a wonderful primitive a lightweight woven coverlet. It had some wonderful, it has wonderful graphic design there, beautiful colors of black and red. This is a narrow loom coverlet. That means that there would be a center seam that would go down through there like that because uh, it was only made, it had to be made in two sections because that was the size of the loom. This piece sold for $85. Now this piece was part of my reduced merchandise. This is a walnut cabinet, a little tabletop cabinet, or it could have been uh, it could have been attached to a wall. Had a shelf inside, a door on the front, and that piece sold for sixty nine dollars. This is a pie lifter. It's a it has these prongs here that would lift out the pie pan. A lovely uh, turned wood handle with great patina. That piece sold for thirteen dollars. And this is an old tin sap bucket with its original red paint, has the hole there where it was attached to a tree, and that piece sold for $9. This piece is a white, it's got a white background, so it's probably going to be a little hard to uh, see, but it is a white stoneware bottle, one quart size. I believe the name is Grosvino. That's what I'm going to call it anyway. That was an impressed mark down here at the bottom of the bottle. And this is an old primitive piece that sold for $15. And a baby buggy, toy baby buggy, all metal with wood wheels cutest little piece so for twenty dollars this is a combination copper and brass watering can vintage it did have the word germany marked on the bottom uh, so that was a nice uh, vintage watering can 
three cup size sold for ten dollars and this was a terrific all ten double boiler that the top lifted out of the bottom and has the lid there and that was a, that's a wonderful piece that would look great with your primitives and that sold for thirty two dollars and an unusual color for uh, high top baby shoes. These were great little blue ones with white buttons. And they sold for $32. Here is a Edwardian or Victorian bar pin or brooch, two and a quarter inches long. It's electroplated gold and it sold for $6. And another sock darner. I sell so many sock darners. This one had its original, a lot of its original uh, bright pink paint there. Shows a lot of character wear which just makes it charming. Sold for nine dollars. And that takes us back to the beginning of this album. Now I do, like I said, um, I put sold, featured sold items in my album. This is not by any means all of my sales, but they, but what ha I have featured here on my web page, I'm doing keeping up in my albums the previous month and the current month. So when I start the month of May and move, start moving sold pieces into the month of May sold album, I will take down the March album because that's the oldest one. And then I will leave this one up for a month for you to view. You can go, you can click on the link that you will find in the description of this video to see um, this web page where you will find all of my featured pieces along with the ones that have sold. So I thank you for watching, and please don't forget to check out my online store. The link to that is also in the description of the video. I have right now over 900 pieces for sale on that site, Vintage and Antique. So I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And again, I have a variety of playlists with antique related videos. So please check that out. I would love to have you join my list of subscribers and help me promote antiques through my uh, YouTube uh, uh, channel here. And uh, give it a thumbs up and share, which is always helpful. I always encourage you to enjoy your antiques. And remember, when you own an antique, you own a piece of history. So bye-bye for now.